Hi all, uh, happy Mother's Day. Uh, it's cold today this morning, but it's a lovely Sunday morning here in County Leitrim, Ireland. Um, I'm here today to talk about the still. Um, I've got the still professional one. Um, now this is um, the MSA 200C. So this is the uh, the chainsaw I'm talking about today. It's as you can see, it's not got the battery in at the moment. I can hold it with one hand quite easily. It's a bit of weight in it, but it's not overly heavy. That's why it's perfect for, for women. Um, light to hold, easy to start. And I'll not be climbing up trees, but I'll be, I'll be doing what I can do with it. The battery, the still battery is AP. 300. This gives you 37 minutes trigger time. Not the actual time that it's in the chainsaw, it's the actual trigger time. So some of the logs are big and some of the logs are small. Um, so the actual trigger time is 37 minutes. So I was at it for about 45 minutes and the way you can check how much um, power you've used, there's a natural button so you can press it. You see how the four lights have come up? This is fully charged. So the other day when I did 45 minutes outside, I only used two of the lights, so only half the charge. So that's why I think you don't need to get a bigger battery. The bigger the battery, the slightly heavier it is as well. So I came in, had a coffee, had a piece of toast, put this on charge and it was only on charge for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes and it was fully charged again. I didn't really need to but I thought well I'll just do it for the sake of it anyway. So then I went back out and I finished off and I spent the rest of the afternoon cutting away. So I say I got a full, I used a full charge to do what I did here. So I'm not quite sure um, how much that cost, I'll have to work out how much um, electricity it costs to charge it and how much it's costing to, to, to run it basically. Um, so I'm not sure on that. Now with the, you still need oil. The oil goes in here, the chain oil. I'll be checking that again now before I use it. So I'm, hopefully I'm gonna be using it today as long as it doesn't rain. Um, here, this is the tension for your, for your chain to check the tension so you can you know, plus and minus so you can you know tighten it up again here again you flip this up and you can take your um, your blade off and that's that's that basically um, so the battery goes in there so basically you pop the battery in you push it down so you hear a click you hear the click so now that battery's in that's ready to go and as you're using it you can press this button here and see how much charge you've got left and um, so you know you know once you've been using it for a good while how how long you've got um, that's it basically and to take the battery out you've got you see here and here press those two in take the battery out Now you've got your charging point as well, your battery. Again, the battery just slots into here and that'll charge once you plug it in. Uh, there is a fan on it as well, apparently it keeps it cool as it's charging. But don't, once it's fully charged, take it off. Don't leave it in because you don't want any disasters. Not saying anything's gonna happen, but you just never know with electric. Um, I recommend, because it's so easy started. I recommend never to keep the battery in it. Store, store it somewhere safe. Store the battery in a different area somewhere safe. So children can't just pop the battery and start it because it's easy started. So never ever leave the battery in the chainsaw once you finish with. Dismantle it and put it away safely. Um, health and safety, big thing, because you never know with kids. Um, 
think they can do anything. So yeah, so that is all about the still. Um, like I said, Vincent bought this. Um, we can both use it and I'm delighted that I can do something now. I can chop up wood and do my bits and go around the fields as well and tidy up now. Uh, so I've got the capability of doing it now. So <laughs> that's it. Right, I'll show you a bit more of the uh, the video what I did outside because it's my first time learning how to do it and I'm, I've got the hang of it now. So I didn't film you know, all the afternoon. I just did little, uh, little segments at the beginning. And yeah. So have a good day. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day again and enjoy it. Bye. Oh. Happy Mother's Day, Mum! I was talking to you this morning. Have a fabulous day. Enjoy your outing today and I'll speak to you soon. Mwah. Love you! Bye!
Hi all. Um, yesterday you see me with the chainsaw. Uh, this is it. It's the electric one. The battery's out now, being charged. Um, that's the make. Um, we got that. Well, Vincent got that um, last week for me, so I could use a, a chainsaw. So yesterday I got quite a bit done. I got. 18 packs. <laughs> I didn't film it off because I thought I'd be stopping and starting, stopping and starting. So I've got 18 bags filled there now. So brought those straight into the utility room because it was easier than taking it to the shed. So what I'm going to do now, um, next, next week, I'm going to start um, trimming some of the trees. <laughs> see if I can uh, get up now I might not be able to get up too high and Vincent might have to do some of that then but I'll start chopping like I've done with this lot at the bottom and start storing but that saved us oh sorry but that's but that saved us so much money when you think if that was a fibre bag because we've been buying the logs um, it's just under a fibre of bag, so we've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90 quid. So we saved 90 euros, so the machine's starting to pay for itself already. Uh, um, it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to be starting the pointing again, because the weather... As you can see, it's getting better out there. So the pointing is going to start again, um, and we can get doing the uh, get doing everything. Start start making way again. But we've been so busy in between. Um, so yeah, we've not been we've we're far from being lazy. Yeah. So listen, don't forget like and subscribe. It helps my channel. Yay. Um, and the more subscribers I have, um, the more algorithm YouTube sends it out uh, because I'm getting um, a lot of people uh, viewing and looking at the videos, uh, but no one's subscribing as well. I've got 42 subscribers, but I've, I think I've got over 4,000 views, uh, which is a lot for a small channel because um, I only started in October. But if each one of you subscribe, then that would help my channel be pushed out um, and it's free to subscribe you don't have to pay I'm not looking for anything um, and YouTube's not looking for anything um, it's free um, you can YouTube um, how to subscribe if you're not sure because that's what I did when I first started watching YouTube because every time I like something it won't let me give it the thumbs up or anything because I had to subscribe but it was very easy you know so there's no problem just youtube it is so easy uh yeah so remember uh subscribe and that help uh, the algorithm of youtube push my channel out thanks very much for watching <laughs> thumbs up bye